Okay, today we're going to be looking at improper fractions and mixed numbers. Tomorrow you will bring in um, the definition of an improper fraction and the definition of a mixed number along with the two problems on the last slide. One is a mixed number to change into an improper fraction and one's an improper fraction that you'll need to change into a mixed number. Okay, first of all, improper fractions and mixed numbers. Converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. Here we go. So first you divide the numerator by the denominator. So remember the top one by the bottom one. The quotient is the leading number and the remainder is the new numerator. So leading number as in it is the whole number, which makes plenty of sense considering the top part, remember, is how many pieces that there are and the bottom part tells you how many make a whole. So that fraction bar, remember, it means out of. So you're trying to figure out well, how many can I get out of. So in this example, I've got five thirds. So I want to see, well, how many groups of three, because that's how we make a whole, can I get out of five? So I take five and I divide by three and that'll go in one time. So that gives me a whole number of one. And the remainder, there's two left over, so that goes two and back over the three. So the three is like a label, just tells you how many you need to make the whole. So it'd be five thirds is the um, improper fraction and that is a mixed number of one and two thirds. All right, here we go, we've got seven fourths. So you, again, you take seven, divide by four, and so you, that will happen, and that will work. You can get one group of four out of seven. So you have a whole number of one, remainder of three. So the three goes back over the four where we began. So one and three-fourths. All right, here's another one. Eleven fifths. Again, take eleven, divide by five. So eleven divided by five is two with a remainder of one. The remainder goes back over the five. So eleven fifths is equal to two and one fifth. All right, so converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. So what you're going to do, remember, because that bottom part tells you how many pieces you need to make a whole. So if I have two holes, each of those holes are worth seven pieces. So it's like you would take and break those holes up into it perfectly into those seven pieces. So it's two times seven because there's seven for one piece, seven for the other whole piece. So that would be 14 plus your three gives you 17 sevenths. So it's the denominator times your, times your whole number plus your numerator. All right, let's look at some practice ones. So we got two and a half, so it'd be two times two, the whole number times the, the I'm sorry, the denominator plus your numerator. So two times two is four plus one is five. Remember that still goes over the same fraction. Oops, left out the fraction over here. So we got whole number six, let's go 16 sevenths. So there are, how many groups of seven can I get out of 16? 16 divided by seven is two. Um, with two left over, so it makes you, gives you two and two sevenths, okay? Five and three sevenths, so five holes, so five times seven, because it takes seven pieces to make one hole, so five times seven is 35, plus the three pieces that I already had would be 38 sevenths. And then 23 fifths, so it would be 23 divided by five, five and going to 23 four times with three left over, so that gives you five and three fifths. All right. So here we go. So for tomorrow, do these two problems. So change two and six sevenths into from a uh, mixed number into an improper fraction, and then change twenty-three thirds from an improper fraction to a mixed number. And then don't forget to bring in the definitions. Go ahead and work these along with the definitions where they would go. Changing from the mixed to the improper, and then changing from the improper to the mixed. Bring those along with the exam. Um, they can be your examples for your improper and mixed. Okay. All right. We're all done. See you tomorrow.